I think the Rudy Power, I know because I'm getting more hate. I just blocked them. They're basically useless anyway. Um, his power is getting less and less. So when a channel is on the verge of not growing, it's basically dying. Alpha Investment has had for a very long time. Uh, he's still, as of the recording of this, 368,000 subscribers. Um, his recent views, Return to Lord of the Rings, 14K on the 34-minute video. Uh, Pokemon community rages over price increases, 6.4K eight hours ago. Angry Pokemon people, uh, he made a res reserve list collapse update that did pretty well. Uh, but regardless, um, outside of him creating a lot, people think I'm dramatic, but uh, if you just read some of his titles, right? It's much more dramatic than my title. So anyway, he was supposed to have his 369,000 Q&A. That was many, many months ago. In fact, let me actually check it for you. And he is still below that fresh hold. Uh, and when I type in 369K, he might, he might have deleted the video. To be honest, he's been on a deleting spread. You know, actually, let me, go, let me go on. Let me go on his thing and then see uh where happened to this video because he was supposed to make a video the beginning of it he deleted that video so i have evidence of said video somewhere on my channel he was going to do a q a at 369,000 subscribers because he had hit it uh he's not hitting it anymore um he you know the current videos his current four videos right now pokemon community rages 6.4k return of lord of the rings 14k youtube rewind 10k great job chris cox 19k the worst magic the gathering set of all time 30k dear rudy do you invest in rolex watches 18k and then reserve list collapse update 55k which is a 38 minute video so i put far less time in my videos than 38 minutes as you can probably imagine i don't edit my videos so this is why I wouldn't invest and unless like you're okay with it going down to zero because these Rudy cards are legitimately going down to zero. This is why I would not invest in a card of a YouTuber of a different card game. They actually don't control or have any equity in. They have no ability to control whether or not the card game is alive or dead. Uh, even if they are really good friends with Mike Waddell, right? I mean the best of friends, besties with the beastie, right? It's still not, I mean, it's still, you can understand that it's still a problem because at the end of the day, um, the card game can go belly up and it's your face on the card game, not Mike Waddell's. So that, that would be my warning. Um, and this is like a lesson that you can learn in the future that if a YouTuber is pumping their own crypto, their own Bitcoin, their own, you know, shit, shit coin, uh, their own promo, I mean, crypto's, I mean, crypto zoo and, MetaZoo, uh, you gotta, I, you gotta look at the two names, man. And I think MetaZoo was into crypto with Steve Aoki. You, you gotta look at these two and say, how are they not the same game, right? How are they not identical to each other? So I, I know when things are getting tough for Alpha Investment because then he sends his little Timmy's to write bad comments. They're already, or most of them are already all blocked anyway. Um, and, but you see the little comment section take up. It must be that sad, man. People think it's sad on this channel, man. I'm having the time of my life. You know, met a significant other, we ready to have a baby soon. I'm having a blast, guys. I didn't buy MetaZoo. I'm sitting here chilling right now. If I bought MetaZoo and I was sitting on a pile of these promo cards, yeah, I'd be pissed. But people don't get it, man. They don't understand the game, man. It's a game. You play the game to get views and subs and so on. If you ain't getting more subs and views, you're dying. And his channel is not doing well. And you can say whatever you want about my channel. It's growing. You can go Social Blade. You can check the numbers, right? It's growing every month. We ain't losing no sub subscribers, right? For every idiot who says I'm going to unsubscribe, there's 10 other idiots who subscribe. Numbers are good. Numbers are good. Uh, this channel has never really made that much money. I don't got no Patreon. I, I don't believe I've updated my Patreon. I hope they deleted it. Um, you you got to understand how this game works, guys. It's a game for impressions. It's a game for views. It's a game for, you know, it, it's a game. And 
the fact that he's deleted multiple videos, right? He deleted his Q&A video. Uh, in fact, you know, let me actually find his Q&A video. Um, I, I, you know, Q&A? I think it was titled something like that. He's been deleting a lot of videos. And not just MetaZoo. Because that one was his big, and I've talked about it in multiple videos before, how he hasn't been able to break 400k. And he's been, you know, he's having his Q&A at 369k. And the problem with that was the time he made the Q&A, he actually started losing subscribers. And he's losing views. I mean, you know, there are plenty of, of Magic YouTubers. And you might be like, what is your plan? My plan is to do shorts and live, man. Shorts are killing it, man. They are killing it right now. So that's why I've dropped, uh, instead of free videos, um, I got a short of like 12,000 views on it, man. Someone's a Rudy Chan video gets, right? And it took me no effort. It took me like two seconds to make it. Oh, 12,927 views. And I kind of figured out how to do it, man. And with minimal effort, I can get maximal views and so on and so forth, right? So it's a game. It's a game. And the lives do, you know, obviously when we're doing lives, they were doing really well, better than the YouTube video. So we'll probably go back to doing lives. I'm really busy with work, right? Uh, yeah, send the Pinker, Pinkerton 681, Alpha Investment Lemming, when I quit live stream. Yeah, man, I mean, these, whoo. If we go back to doing live streaming, we haven't done one since April 27th, 2023. Over a year ago was the last time we live streamed. Man, that's crazy. But we do back, we do the live streams and so on. And we did, I mean, I think I could get more views than them because the shorts do a shit ton more views. Like if you compare the two channels on Social Blade, he doesn't do shorts, right? And he doesn't really do lives because God, God forbid you break a box for a subscriber live, right? That would be a disaster, right? In case you hit something good. <laughs> Being very mean. But yeah, man, I think MetaZoo really diminished his uh, reputation. I don't think he'll ever recover from MetaZoo. And he knows this because he's deleting videos about... He deleted all the videos about it that were positive. I got them here. And uh, they're gone, right? But people are not going to forget. I'm not going to... I'm not going to forget. This is like I said about Picotray, man. It was a scam all along. I knew it was a scam. They went belly up. And then suddenly, oh, and uh, the Mana Source and all these effing idiots like Tumulian Community Call. Not that he's an idiot. He knows how to get money from you guys. Um, but they, they supported this platform. No, it wasn't our fault. It was just mismanaged. It's the same thing they say about MetaZoo, except there's just faces on it. Like, imagine if Tolarian Community College's face was all over Puker Trade. It was like their official logo. Man, I don't think he would recover from that. And I don't think uh, Alpha Investment will recover from MetaZoo. Because it pokes holes at his idea that he is a good investor. Right? Either he was sending the lamb to slaughter... And he knew MetaZoo was a bad, and so he was a smart investor, and he led the lambs to slaughter, which is a big no-no. Uh, or he's just simply not good at investing in cards. MetaZoo is one of the biggest disasters in TCG. It, not the big, it is the biggest disaster in TCG history. From an investment standpoint, in terms of where it was to where it is. Anyway, hi guys.